main Syrian opposition group, the High Negotiations Committee, meeting with the foreign ministers who've been most sympathetic to its aim of removing President Assad. Earlier, the group's leader, Riyad Hijab, had outlined a detailed vision for the future of Syria, with a six-month negotiating period and then, for 18 months, a transitional government. The problem in this, though, is how to get to such a future. Fighting has intensified in recent months. At least 50 people died in the last 24 hours. Talks in Geneva collapsed in April. Now the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and the US Secretary of State John Kerry are to meet again, a further attempt after weeks of discussions to reach an agreement to get things back on track. Syria will include everybody. One prominent member of the opposition, Hind Kabawat, told me she'd lost all confidence in Mr Kerry and in his boss, President Obama, and instead believes it's now best to direct efforts towards whoever becomes the next US president. We stop hoping. A long time ago. We don't hope and we don't want to think that he's going to do anything. All we can do today is to get prepared for the next uh, uh, elections. At the end of the day of talks, the UK Foreign Secretary says there's still an opportunity to get the political process underway soon. It is a, a conflict a, a, that frankly shames humanity and it is in my view the number one political problem that we have to solve in the world, and that's why we're all supporting so strenuously the efforts of US uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, who is trying to work with the Russians to, to broker a, a ceasefire on the ground uh, in the Aleppo area, and we're, we're obviously backing him all the way in those efforts, trying to get the peace talks in Geneva back on track. If John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov finally get a deal, and they've failed several times in recent weeks, the next stage may be a meeting of all the key regional and international players, the International Syria Support Group, in New York later this month. They will then try and put pressure on both sides to come back to talks in Geneva. But there we have the problem. Those two sides, the opposition and the government, still have the same central positions. The opposition say Assad must go. The government say no way, he's staying. No one is very optimistic. The prospects of a new future for Syria outlined in these meetings here in London still seems a very long way off. James Bayes, Al Jazeera.